Taxi fares are going up for the first time in 10 years. Leading taxi group Comfort Delgro announcing today that the flag down fare for a standard cab like the Hyundai i40 will increase from 370 to 390. The hike will take effect at 6 am on March 1st. Distance and time based charges will also rise by 2 cents for normal taxis and 3 cents for limos. Comfort Delgro controls about 8,900 cabs or 60% of the entire taxi fleet in Singapore. Its fare adjustment is almost identical to the one it made in 2011. And just like in the past, the other four taxi operators are likely to follow the company's lead in raising fares. Senior Transport Correspondent Christopher Tan with more. Chris, raising the flag down fare by 20 cents may not seem like a lot, but factoring in other increases like distance and time-based charges, would a passenger have to pay significantly more for a taxi ride? Well, it depends on what you deem by significant. I think for a 10 km ride, which is the benchmark, uh, fares will go up by about 80 cents for off-peak and a dollar or more for the same distance during peak period where there's a lot of waiting. Uh, so approximately that works out to be 8 to 10 percent, which is not a lot per se, but in the transportation sector, not insignificant either. Also considering, considering in the last few years, other components of the fare has gone up. For instance, uh, peak period has lengthened and then you have the introduction of things like search pricing. Um, so, so this adds up and you know, it's not insignificant. Now, Comfort Delgro says the move is to help cabbies defray higher operating costs, resulting from rising fuel prices and inflation. Now, in the last six months, our fuel prices have increased by about 10% on average. Christopher, how justifiable are these reasons? Well, I think it sounds reasonable. Pump prices have increased by quite a bit. But I can't think of a time when they actually lowered fares when pump prices fell. And looking at the big picture, a uh, price increase, a fare increase is always double-edged. Especially now when there are a lot of, of, of alternatives, like the private hire. Um, and also to know that uh, taxi rides are discretionary, or at least not all of them are compulsory. So people might you know, switch to other modes of transport, like public transport. Bus and train fares have also gone up since December 26. Uh, drivers are affected by rising transport costs as well with higher pump prices. It sounds like more pain for both commuters and drivers across the board, Chris? Yes, I'm glad you brought up uh, public transport uh, costs. Right? Uh, fares went up by about 2.2% uh, in comparison to taxi fare rises, which was uh, 8 to 10% we mentioned. Uh, it doesn't sound like a lot, but I think you know, bus and train fares affects a larger uh, portion of the population. And also we make a lot more trips by bus and trains than on taxis. Um, and also the fact that uh, people who rely on public transport uh, typically would not or do not own a car or do not have access to a car and probably will only take taxis occasionally. So 2.2% versus 8 to 10% may seem like disproportionate. But I think if you, it adds up, because the sheer number of trips that we make by bus and train each day, um, the cost actually might be more than 2.2%. Uh, and, and regarding uh, pump prices uh, for drivers, right, I think uh, for most drivers, uh, in comparison to the price they pay for the car and the other running costs like parking, insurance, um, pump price increase, it's not a lot even though you know, it's 10%, 10, 10 cents in the last several weeks. Right? Um, petrol cost, in the bigger scheme of things, is not a lot. And when a car costs you know, at least $100,000, and then operating costs like parking, insurance, ERP, adds up to several thousand dollars.